Good morning. Today is Friday. This is your second video that goes through the solution to all of your warm-ups for this week. So if for some reason you haven't finished your warm-ups, please make sure you're not watching this video. No cheater, cheater, pumpkin eaters. Um, and that you're waiting until your warm-ups are complete. All right, so our skill we were working on was using the distributive method to solve or simplify, in this case, uh, uh, algebraic expressions. And by simplifying them, we're creating equivalent expressions. And this is, you have to be able to have this skill to then be able to solve these multi-step equations. All right, so we're going to go ahead and finish. We had gotten all the way down to our Wednesday, April the 22nd um, warm-up, and then we'll look at Thursday and Friday. We're going to distribute our 30. I have 30 groups of 3x. 3 times 3 is 9 out of 0. I have 90 groups of x. 30x, 30x, and 30x. I have 30 groups of 4 which is 120, and you just copy your symbol down. I'm going to distribute my 6. I have 6 groups of 5a, 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 and 5a, which is 30 a's. Copy your symbol. I have 6 groups of 9b. So pretend you have 9b, 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 and 9b. 6 times 9 is 54 b's. Now I'm going to distribute my 9. 9 groups of 3x. 3x, 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 3x. 27 x's. 9 times 54. 9 times 4 is, 9 times 5 is, plus 3, oops, put your symbol in the middle, all right, I have 7, distributing my 7 groups of C, plus 7 groups of C, plus 7 groups of C, and if I combine my like terms, 21 groups of C. Distribute your times 9, 9 groups of 2, 9 groups of 7F. 7F, 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 all the way across. 9 times 7 is 63 groups of F. All right, Thursday, spiral review and warm up. This was solving two-step algebraic equa equations using inverse operations and using order of operations or PEMDAS, but working backwards because we're going backwards to undo. Just like with, we solve it forwards and now we're undoing it walking backwards. All right, I added four, so I need to subtract four. That gives me three B oh, equals nine. I multiply by 3, I have to divide by 3. 3 by 3 over 3 is 1, so I'm left with b. 9 divided by 3 is 3. b equals 3. The inverse operation of subtracting 2 is adding 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, so I'm left with n divided by 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. The inverse operation of division is multiplication. Do it to the left, got to do it to the right. 4 over 4 is 1. I'm left with n. 4 times 4 is 16. n equals 16. Inverse operation is add 10. 
10 minus 10 is 0. I'm left with 12p. 26 plus 10 equals 36. Inverse operation of multiplying by 12 is dividing by 12. Do it to the left. Got to do it to the right. 12 divided by 12 is 1. I'm left with p. 36 divided by 12 is 3. Inverse operation of adding 3, subtracting 3. I'm um, set 3 minus 3 is 0. I'm left with 7r. 31 minus 3 is 28. Inverse operation of multiplying by 7 is dividing by 7. 7 over 7 is 1. I'm just left with an r. 28 divided by 7 is 4. r equals 4. x over 5 minus 1 equals 0. Inverse operation of minus 1. Add 1. Do it to the left. i got to do it to the right. 1 minus 1, I'm left with x over 5. 0 plus 1 equals 1. Inverse operation of dividing by 5. Multiply by 5. 5 over 5 leaves me with x. 5 times 1 is 5. x equals 5. Inverse operation of subtracting 5 is adding 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 5 minus 5 is 0. I'm left with 2d. Inverse operation of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 over 2 is 1. I'm left with d. 5 equals d. Inverse operation of adding 1, subtracting 1. Do it to the left. i got to do it to the right. 23 minus 1 is 22. 1 minus 1 is 0. I'm left with 2t. Inverse operation of multiplying by 2, dividing by 2. Do it to the left. i got to do it to the right. 22 divided by 2 is 11. 2 over 2 is 1, and I'm left with t. 11 equals t. All right, Kendra lost half of her allowance, but her mother gave her five more dollars. What word are we going to use for more? Plus 4. Now she has $9, so that's your answer. How much was her allowance? So allowance is your variable. We'll just use A for allowance. So she had half of her allowance stolen, but then she was given four more dollars. And when this happened, she had nine. Okay, so we're going to rewrite this real quick so it looks more algebraic. I'm going to kind of write it down here. If I'm multiplying it by one half, so just dividing it by two. All right, this looks like what we're solving for. So our equation is a over two plus four equals nine. The inverse operation of adding 4 is subtracting 4. I'm left with a over 2 equals 5. The inverse operation of dividing by 5 is multiplying, or by 2 is multiplying by 2. 2 over 2 gives me 1. I'm left with a. 5 times 2 is 10. Mario, Drew, and Justin all took part in a walkathon. Together they walked nine miles. Justin walked three miles. Maria walked twice as far as Drew. How many miles did Drew walk? All right, so we have three different letters here. We have Justin walked three. We have Drew. We don't know how much he walked. 
but we do know that Maria walked to Drew's. And if we add all these numbers up together, how much did they walk total? Nine. All right, so now I can write an algebraic equation. How would I write an expression that would add all these numbers together? I can only use one variable. Well, we don't have to worry about the variable here because it's a constant. But we need to make sure we write these as Ds because we can't have J, D, and M, right? Okay, so we have Drew, we'll do a lowercase d, we don't know how much he is, plus Maria, which is two d's, plus Justin, which we know is three, equals the total they want. Now how would I need to do to simplify this? Combine like terms. 3d plus 3 equals 9. All right, inverse operation. Inverse operation. d equals 2. All right, these were our warm-ups for our first week um, at, on our Canvas platform. So this was our uh, combined blended learning, which just means you're doing some things pencil and paper and some things online. Remember, these are um, advanced middle school skills, which means um, we're definitely not, maybe not going to reach mastery on these this year, and that's okay. But every time we practice them, we're going to strengthen that learning bridge. And then when you guys have these skills next year or when you're looking to try to take an enriched uh, math course, you'll be even more likely to move into that enriched course, which I think you guys all need. Um, this is it for this week. So once you've checked your work and then the next video is going to check your Kumon lessons um, and then we'll go over your ERQs. So I'll see you all in the next video in just a minute.